Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore a surprising discovery deep beneath our feet, revealing how Earth's inner core may be swirling with liquid iron and how tiny earthquake echoes are rewriting what scientists thought they knew about the planet's hidden heart. The solid inner core of Earth may not be completely solid at all, as per a new study. Unlike what is generally believed, the core is a hodgepodge patchwork of solid and liquid which flow all the way to the centre. The new research was carried out on the basis of faint echoes of earthquake waves, which were seen bouncing back to the surface of the Earth from the depths of the planet. The research suggested that the inner core is more varied than what was previously understood. According to the findings, the inner core, which increases about a millimeter every year when the liquid outer core solidifies, is likely to have grown faster in the earlier times in the history of the Earth. What's more, there may be swirls of liquid iron trapped inside the solid core, said study senior author Keith Coper, a seismologist at the University of Utah, in a statement. A long time ago, the inner core grew really fast. It reached an equilibrium, and then it started to grow much more slowly. Not all of the iron became solid, so some liquid iron could be trapped inside, Coper said. There is no process to directly access the core, so Coper and his team took into account data collected from 20 seismometers, which were set up to measure earthquake waves and also monitor for nuclear weapons testing. The team also focused on waves which were triggered by earthquakes of magnitude 5.7 or above and are big enough to send vibrations across the inner core as the seismometer read a faint echo. This signal that comes back from the inner core is really tiny. The size is about on the order of a nanometer. What we're doing is looking for a needle in a haystack. So these baby echoes and reflections are very hard to see, Coper said. The key finding, which was reported in the journal Nature on July 5th, was that the composition of the core was inhomogeneous or varied. In other words, the Earth's inner core did not smoothly solidify and is made up of a patchwork of different textures. For the first time, we confirmed that this kind of inhomogeneity is everywhere inside the inner core, said Guaning Pang a postdoctoral researcher at Cornell University who participated in the research as a doctoral student at the University of Utah in the statement. Seismic waves scatter more the deeper they penetrate the core, said Coper, indicating an increase in the amount of variability closer to the center of the Earth. This could be related to the changing rate of solidification of the core over time, he added. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.